Okay, so now recently a lot of news have been coming that a lot of people are dying due to long flights. So now what is the reason behind it? Is the flight the reason or the person? So let's get into it. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Kanaka and welcome back to Dr. Duo. So there is a blood clot formation which is also called as thrombus in the deep veins and most commonly it takes place in the legs itself otherwise it can also take place in intestine, brain, in heart, everywhere but most commonly it is the legs. So when the thrombus takes place because of the following reason like first when they are sitting so the blood circulation becomes very sluggish in the deeper veins. So now this clot can any time get free from itself and reach the lungs causing pulmonary embolism. So this whole thing wherein deep vein get that thrombus is actually called as DVT and the full form of it is deep vein thrombosis. So this is a very important thing to be known and a lot of people face it. Especially when I say flights, because flights usually if suppose you are traveling here from US or to US or having a longer flights, let's say of 7, 8, 10 hours. So maximum times you're just sitting in the same position for that entire long duration. So that can definitely lead to sluggish blood flow which can cause the formation of this blood clot. So now what to do actually about it and before that what how can you be the person susceptible to it what are the predisposing factors to it so now first would be the people who are having long flights long car journeys who are just sitting in the one in single position second it can be due to pregnancy third people who are aged mostly you'll see it in people above 60 years then fourth people having heart disease or any heart condition then also patients on hormonal pills or oral contraceptive pills can also be susceptible to DVT. Now talking about the symptoms of DVT, if it is in the acute phase then you will see swelling over the lower limb or whatever area which is involved in the whole process. Along with that it would be painful then there will be tenderness over so that is when you touch then the patient will feel the pain. Then along with that, there would be also enlargement of the veins because of the blood flow. And with all of these, you'll also see some kind of color change. So there would be hyperpigmentation most oftenly. And in cases of stasis venous ulcer, for example, when there's a venous compromise, then you can also develop ulcers over that area. And then when it goes into acute pulmonary embolism, then you would obviously have, since lungs are here, then you will have chest pain, you will also have difficulty in breathing, which is called dyspnea, and later on it can also cause lightheadedness and faint. So all of these things can take place. Now looking at it, how to understand that you will have DVD? So there are certain uh, tests which we go about, like color Doppler, so when you go with this, you understand that the venous uh, blood circulation was compromised. So with that, the treatment begins. So if all of the predisposing conditions, if you are one, you need to be very careful with long flights, especially. So it means that I'm not saying that don't go for long flights, but in between after let's say one hour or one and a half hour, just take a small walk in the flight so that the sluggish blood flow doesn't take place. So just go for a walk or just change your position so that it doesn't take place. Other than that, you can obviously consult a doctor for including certain medications like first one because it is causing clotting. So you need blood thinners. So blood thinners are anticoagulants like heparin, warfarin. So all of these can be included in your 
lifestyle then secondly you can also get a compression stocking done so everything whatever i'm saying is just an advice but it should be only followed after visiting a doctor then along with that you also have to bring in some lifestyle changes like healthier lifestyle changes which includes healthy food exercising daily and also taking your proper medications on time only after consulting a doctor so when you do all of these things things will be better so yeah this is it for today's video we really hope that you like this video and if you do do not forget to subscribe to our channel let's make this the biggest medical community ever bye